Hi everyone, I'm Father Scott Vanderveer. There is a phrase that you will not hear people who work in schools or in youth programs or with kids in any kind of capacity. There's a phrase that you'll never hear those people say. They never say kids these days. You won't hear it. You won't hear people say kids these days because people who work with kids these days are very enthusiastic about what they see. That doesn't mean there's not problems. That doesn't mean that those of us who work with young people aren't worried about the ways that technology and social media is changing the connections that humans have with each other. It doesn't mean that we're not worried that our decadent cultural lifestyle is affecting the character development that can happen. It doesn't mean that we're not worried about some of the influences that they have. But you won't hear people who work with kids saying, kids these days. You may occasionally hear them say, parents these days, but that's another topic. But you won't hear people discouraged about kids or about what kids do, the way kids are. No one who works with kids these days fails to see that kids these days are awesome, that they're wonderful, that they're so kind, that they have a, a sympathy, a, a sensitivity, a kindness, an empathy for one another that is beyond what earlier generations ever had. We see in them a goodness that is something to celebrate. Today's kids do grow up faster perhaps than kids in the past. And in other ways, they grow up slower. But kids these days, have wonderful human qualities, great capacity for spiritual and religious development, an amazing, caring way of connecting with those around them. One thing that is very important for us to recognize is that we have to tell kids these days and all days that we love them, that we support them, that we care about them. We have to let them know that they matter to us. We have to make it clear to them that they are a blessing to us and that we do not take them for granted. One of the things that a great theologian, Father Ron Rollheiser, has written about and teaches about in his lectures is that you'll see in the Bible that the elders would give blessings to the young generation. It's true throughout the Hebrew scriptures of, of those, those patriarchs and matriarchs giving blessings to the generations that follow. You'll see it in people like Jacob. You'll see it in prophetesses like Anna in the temple. You see people who are always willing to let young people know, I see you, I celebrate you, I'm grateful for you. You are a blessing to us. Oftentimes, we don't reach out to young people because we feel that they're not interested in what we have to offer. There's a lot of times that because young people are given the gift of youth and speed and strength that wanes over time, we may feel not up to the task of connecting with them. We may feel that they will find us boring or that they will judge us as having little to offer. What I think that does then is it causes us to wait for the young people to bless us. We wait for them to say, you are so wise, teach me about, about what you know. We wait for them to say, you are such a great elder, I really look up to you. And as long as we're waiting for them to do that, we're putting the cart before the ox. Because as Father Ron Rollheiser says, it is not the job of the young to bless the old. It's the job of the old to bless the young. It is not the job of grandchildren to take delight in their grandparents, to pull out their wallet and want to show you the pictures of their grandparents. Even when I say that, you can hear that it's backwards. It's the grandparents who delight in the grandchildren. That doesn't mean that the grandchildren don't love and, and, and enjoy and, and 
worship the ground the grandparents walk on. So often they do. But it's not the job of a grandchild to uplift a grandparent. It is actually the job of a grandparent to uplift and support a grandchild. That is something hidden from a lot of us, something that we don't realize. We've been sitting around waiting for the young people to bless us. We need to bless them. That is how it is supposed to work. That's how it's always worked in the generations past. Now, you may say that children in old times, maybe if you are of a certain age, you remember this well, were to be seen and not heard. Children were not celebrated, you might say. And, and that is true, that there was a certain understanding of, of how things should be ordered that is not as true now. It might be part of the reason why you'll hear people say parents these days sometimes, that that, that order is not being maintained the way it once was. But let's remember why that order existed in the first place. Whether it was a good idea in every situation or not, that's up for you to decide. But we know the reason why there was such structure. The reason why there was the desire for children to be uh, obedient and good and kind and thrifty and reverent and all of those good boy and Girl Scout virtues that we still celebrate today was so that they would thrive that they would reach their potential, that they would be able to become all that was contained within them, that they, the seeds that they were would sprout into beautiful plants, that, that they would live up to the dignity that was their birthright. That's always the job of the old, to nurture the young, to give our lives for the young. So for all of us who have been waiting for kids these days, to take more interest in the things that we care about or to take on some of the behaviors or the attitudes that we think would be appropriate for their station in life. Maybe it would be good for us to find what it is that we can bless and affirm in them. And I can promise you, if you spend time with them, you will find a lot to praise and affirm. And then to tell them that we are grateful to God for them, that we see God's goodness in them, that they are a blessing. And then we offer that blessing to them. It is not the job of the young to bless the old. It's the job of all of us who are older to bless the young. May all of the young people in your life see you as someone who is a great blessing to them. But may, whether they tell you that or not, may you be the one to tell them Young people, you are a blessing from God to all of us. May God bless you and all those you love now and forever.